Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, my name is Medha and my name is Pragya. And today we have a new challenge for you. Uh, but before we get into the new challenge, uh, we would encourage you to go and check out our previous challenge, which was uh, also a lot of fun and which was also a lot uh, very useful to for a lot of people. Uh, so go ahead and check out that challenge as well. And uh, so this was a work from home challenge that we uh, we created a sequence for all of you uh, to so sort of start including yoga in your everyday practice. So if you haven't seen that already. Uh, you know, we'll provide a link on the video. You can just link back and then yeah. circle back here and join us for the new fun challenge, which yeah. is the headstand, headstand challenge. challenge. Yeah. Um, and uh, the headstand happens to be uh, an asana that everybody wants to do. Even people who Absolutely. just yeah, even people who just start yoga, they want to do the headstand. People who and don't practice yoga want to do the headstand. And you know, when you think of yoga, you think of this yogi in the Himalayas yeah. doing just standing on top standing of his head. Standing on their head. Yeah. 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 Um, but the headstand uh, is um, there's this it's an intricate you know uh, asana there are so many aspects of it and and most importantly it has to be done very safely um, there's a lot of preparation that you should do um, you shouldn't just try to jump into the headstand without really understanding it a little bit more and we hope to uh, through this challenge bring a little bit more um, uh, more awareness to your headstand practice. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, following this, uh, Shishasana is also called the king mm -hmm. of all postures. Right? It has so many benefits yeah. and it is, you know, it has as many benefits as, uh, you know, the number of people that yeah. like the, the, yeah, uh, they like the asana. want to do the asana yeah. and yeah. Um, uh, it's an inversion. Yeah. Um, inversions are typically asanas where the hip is above the head. Uh, mm -hmm. When we stand, you see that the hip is lower and the head is above. And inversion, it inverts. And this brings a whole bunch of things yeah. um, into our experience. Right. Yeah. So just the, the mere fact that the blood is now rushing to the head in itself brings a lot of awareness to you, a, a new sense of perception, heightened Absolutely. awareness also. Um, and that's just, uh, you know, on the like the spiritual aspect perhaps of the asana, but there's so many physical benefits of Absolutely. the asana as well. So the hormones are uh, sort of refreshed. A lot of these feedback loops because yes. now there's increased blood to the the control centers of the mm. body. So you know the hormones uh, sort of become uh, more yeah. um, regulated. Right. You have a lot of space that's created in, in the lower abdominal yeah. space. So then mm. all of the issues of the lower abdomen sort of start uh, yeah. getting better, getting better as you yeah. do this yeah. practice. Yeah, and along with that, like uh, the glands get a fresh uh, supply of, of oxygen, which makes them, which rejuvenates them. Uh, you know, new supply of energy. So it's overall a great asana for you to practice. You know, my teacher would constantly say that she, uh, all these inversions are like an anti-gravity practice because it mm. sort of reduces the effect of the effect that gravity has, has yeah. on the entire body. So yeah. it sort of slows down aging. It sort of yeah. is a great stress buster. Yeah, great for tired legs. Like a lot of uh, people have swollen feet at the end of the day. Women, particularly, very close veins. Um, you know, uh, stretch marks, all of these things sort of, uh, it alleviates it. I won't say that it reduces, uh, that it makes it disappear. It doesn't, uh, you know, your stretch marks won't disappear, your uh, varicose veins won't disappear, but yes, it will alleviate the appearance of the, uh, you know, of, of this, of these things. Um, and also help in you feeling a lot better also. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But more than anything, I think Pragya and I love this posture because it's so much fun to do. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's a posture which we're constantly trying to get better at. Like yeah. when you're in Shishasana, you're not done. There's so much more to it. Yeah. So we hope to sort of teach you how to step by step. Maybe uh, the first part of this is where you build up to uh, Shishasana. This, yeah. the, the, the mid part of the challenge is where you would... Um, uh, do the asana safely, find out ways to actually, uh, you know, dip your toes in Shisha yes. asana. Yeah, get comfortable with that new perspective, with being on your head. Um, and also safety is a is a big thing because yeah. uh, there's so uh, much room for error and for your your neck is vulnerable when you're doing it, your shoulders, everything is really vulnerable when you're when you're doing this asana. So it's it's doubly important that you are not just jumping into it, that you're actually using your core, you're using your strength. Um, and like you're using a technique, right, more yeah. than anything else to understand mm. how to sort of make this a part of your everyday thing. Yes. Um, and the last part of this challenge is where we will probably give you different kinds of variations, things that you can you know, have fun with and, yeah. uh, you know, 
yeah. help build this practice into your everyday right. routine. Right. So w- the other thing that we really mm-hmm. wanted to emphasize on is that this challenge uh, is meant to sort of integrate into everything that you are already Currently doing. doing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you may be having your own workout, you may be running, you may be doing an asana practice already. Mm-hmm. Uh, this challenge is meant as a uh, as a as a as something that can sort of very seamlessly, seamlessly integrate with whatever you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, please make sure that you spend enough time cooling down after yeah. the practices that you do with us. Um, mm-hmm. These probably take two, three minutes every day mm. and you can, uh, it, it is built uh, progressively. Yeah. Right. So you would do the first video for maybe three or four days and then the second video and the first video following that yeah and then keep adding to it this way yeah so in that way the, the, your body in terms of strength and flexibility also progressively uh, becomes better and then it's easier for you to go into the headstand rather than trying to do everything all at one go yeah um, so that's not really the way you want to approach a, a successful um, and safe uh, headstand practice absolutely. also there are contraindications to headstand as well absolutely very um, very important ones yeah yeah um, so if you've injured your neck um, your shoulders, you want, you do not want to do the Shishasana. You can do it with a lot of uh, variations and props, but I would always recommend you do that yeah. with a teacher yeah. and not by yourself and not with this video. Right, yeah, not with this video. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, when if you're menstruating, the first three, four days of menstruation, um, avoid doing the headstand. You can always start the challenge later or take a break during that time. And yeah. That's absolutely okay. Yeah. High blood pressure is also a contraindication. Um, headaches, migraines, vertigo, vertigo. Right? Yeah. And on these days, please avoid doing this challenge. Yeah. So uh, let's dive yeah. right in. Let's get started. <laughs>